Peanut, I've got your friend here. Peanut. Yeah, your friend, look. Why are you doing that? That's your friend. What? Oh, for fuck. So, here we are in my living room. And this is the center channel that I use with my AV receiver. So this I've had for quite some time and it's been about 10, 12, 13, 14 years or something like that, probably more. I'm not sure on the exact date, let's just say the mid nineties. Basically, what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna open it because I wanna see what's inside. Double sum, double SSM, I think that's his name. He, well, it's not his name, it's his YouTube channel's name. Doublesome made a video on this. I think it's the same speaker, I'm not sure. I got this with that. The hi-fi that came with this is no longer with us. And yes, my car amplifier is lying here on the floor. Ignore that for now. These will eventually get their own review, so look forward to that. I think it was the same speaker that he opened anyway. Um, what I'm gonna do with this, I'm gonna detach it from this. This is the AV receiver it's attached to. That is the butt kicker amp that powers the car sub, which is in this box. I used that as the center channel before I used this. And the reason I changed it was because this, well, it's bigger. Also, it's black. It kind of matches everything else. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this and open it and we'll have a look at what's inside. Okay, time to pull this out. That's what she said! <laughs> so judging by what's on the back of this, it looks similar to the one that I've seen open. Okay, so here we go. Dude. Dude, you are in the way. You are, you, you like, you know, half shaved and everything. Did you not want the full Brazilian? Okay, I shouldn't have started stroking him. Now he's purring and thinks he's in for a massage session or something. Right, so this is what it looks like. And there's a bit of blue tack there. Don't know what that's doing on there. How old is that blue tack? Very old. Ah, so I've tried opening this before, but I think I've failed. I think I remember trying to open this uh, so long ago. What a fail. So yeah, let me try to open it now. So, Doublesome, you have the ability to open these with great ease, and I am pleased for you. Um, I've tried this in the past and failed. So, seeing you open yours is the reason that I'm doing this. And I'm really curious to see how this speaker inside here compares to the one that you've opened. And, um... Okay, so, let's see if I can open this. I don't know why, but this feels like it's glued together. Eventually. It's beginning to open. Ah, it's this side that's the problem. Ah, there we go. It's about time. Ah, so. The port is different. And there's some stuff down there. Hmm. Maybe fiberglass. Some sort of glass fiber anyway. Okay, so this, uh, let's get a close up of this. All right, so here we go, that's a close-up for you. So far, this is different to the one that I've seen, and I mean, it's feels like it's probably some sort of paper type, type of material. I mean, that's definitely paper. This is not rubber. So I'm guessing this speaker set is a different model than I thought. So yeah, it's, it's not an inverted surround. Now what I'll do is I'll take this out. Cat has returned and is now smelling the speaker. Still no electric screwdriver, which is okay, cause I have hands. And although this is gonna take a little longer using a manual screwdriver, I don't mind. Is it fun watching me unscrew the screws? Right, that is done. Now what I'm gonna do is take this out. 
So unlike the SMD, I can do this with just my hand. Magnetically shielded. Ah, so that stuff in there seems like some sort of padding. No shit. What does that look like? What does it look like? That seems like some sort of fiberglass material to me, but um, I'm not sure. Don't really want to poke around with my fingers because glass fibers aren't good for your skin. What I could do with this next is probably give it a bit of a test. That would mean I have to go upstairs and attach this to the eyewear, which luckily I still have in my possession. Here we are, upstairs. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is attach the speaker cable, this, to the back of that. So, like so. And there we go. Now what I'll do is I'll put this over there. There. That looks a little odd, but now it's time for a sound test. And we're gonna see how good it sounds. First time testing on camera. This is the iWare Hi-Fi system. And turn it on. So uh, let's see what this sounds like. Okay, so in order for this to work, I need to unplug my headphones and plug in the auxiliary cable. First of all, I'll turn the volume up on this and that is the headphone output. Now I'll press play and we'll see what this sounds like. So I'm not really into this sort of music, but one of these tracks will be the next one that I play. So let's give the pointer a bit of a spin and then click. It landed around here, so this one.
on the rise now. Endless celebrations all in my house. Levitating now, I'm super duper fly now. Let them boy, but they see where I reside now. Put the time in while you always yell a time out. And the critic, cause I know I'm coming with it. You were sitting, you were wishing I was handling my business. Yeah, now I got the ball like Harry Potter playing Quidditch. And my business is so humongous, you would think that happens in now. So yeah, this is fairly decent for what it is, and it's uh, definitely better than I expected it to be. I think I'll continue to use this on my home theatre setup. After all, I think it's only really used for vocals. So yeah, for now, that is all.